Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Fallout 76. I discovered something very interesting while speaking to Mortimer over here. Apparently, he now sells the plans for the military cryo freezer. That was a Fallout first item from the last scoreboard, and good basically, day to you. yeah, sure, good day to you, Mortimer. And basically, the freezer makes it so that anything you store inside there does not rot. So if you go into his plans, it should be available near the bottom there. Military cryo freezer. Now I checked out all the other vendors at the Foundation and at Vault 79 and apparently it doesn't look like they've got any new plans. So this one seems to be the only Good one. To and to be honest I was a bit surprised. Okay now back at camp, the freezer is available just under the sugar bombs refrigerator. And as it says, 100% spoilage rate reduction. Which means no rotting, if it works as it says. Uh, yeah I've heard of a few bugs with that. Especially when you don't have uh, the freezer installed in every single one of your camps. So yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Um, technically speaking, I should be able to put this inside my shelter. Right? Let me try that out. Okay, it doesn't look like you can actually build it inside the shelter. I believe there may have been a few bugs related to that. So they may have removed it. Anyway, back outside. Let's see. Actually, let's, uh, let's, let's put something in there that I don't mind rotting. <laughs> So it doesn't look like you can actually sort by spoilage, right? Unfortunately. It would be nice if you could sort by spoilage. Anyway, let's put in a couple of glowing meats. I don't mind if they rot. Our stash is full. Okay, that's fine. One glowing meat. It's basically got a 100% condition. So I leave it there for a couple of hours. And for most food that I put in my stash, that would, uh, that would rot by a significant bit. So we'll see how good it is. Okay, and we're back. It's been a lot of hours, and I'm at my second camp, and the reason I came here as opposed to my main camp is because I wanted to talk about a couple of things. So, if I check out the status of the meat, I did lose some condition, but I was checking it periodically throughout uh, the number of hours that I left it in here, and it didn't lose any condition. But there are a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. One is that you should have a freeze at every single camp. So I've got my second camp over here, but this is where my first camp is. You should make sure that you have a freezer at every single camp, because otherwise the food will start rotting immediately. A second thing that you have to keep in mind as well is that if when you log in, your camp is not placeable for whatever reason, let's say it's not placeable, the game will give you a warning. But if that happens, you should make sure that you activate your second camp immediately. The reason is that the items will start rotting straight away. So basically, the game will basically think that the items are not in the freezer, they're in the stash and you'll start losing condition as if they were in the stash. That's a bit of a bug. And lastly, I haven't seen this one myself, but I've seen some people say that items that they place inside the freezer sometimes end up at the vendor for sale at zero caps, in other words free for anyone to take. So it may not be a bad idea to check your vendor every time you add something to the freezer and see if it's for sale. This is probably a version of the same bug that affects the recharger over here. Occasionally, when you add a fusion core, it may end up at the vendor. Like I said, I haven't seen this one myself, but plenty of people have mentioned that, so... It's a good idea to check your vendor, just to make sure you're not uh, giving away items. Anyway, aside from those points, the freezer works as advertised. Any food you add in there will preserve forever. So if you happen to use foods for buffs, you should definitely get this one if you've got access to gold. Like I said before, I'm actually surprised that this became available so early after the scoreboard. 